part four of my baby daddy and his baby mama since she want to be a special guest. So after she just show her motherfucking ass at the Sonic, y'all, I'm still in my, I don't give a fuck what the hell going on. Because if I want to fuck with a nigga, I'm going to fuck with a nigga. But I did notice that my nigga who didn't know he was my nigga, which finally found out he was my nigga, was starting to act a little different. And not different in a sense like he wasn't acting as if he was trying to love bomb me in the beginning. Acting different as in like, now you taking more text messages. Now you taking more phone calls. Now you leaving doing this, that, that, and the third. All right, cool. So as we gradually continue to grow our relationship, he started to get a little reckless. And when I say reckless, I mean like leaving your phone on lock reckless. Going and talking about you going right down the street, but it's taking you 45 minutes to go down the street. And then you still got to travel back home. Like crazy stuff like that that you would start to think like, what the fuck is really going on? So one particular night, he showed up, y'all. I'm at the hotel. We vibing. We chilling. He dozed off to sleep. His phone was still unlocked, so I went and I picked up the phone. Guess who I see? His baby mama. Now, granted, y'all, I thought, or if I remember correctly, I think I may have messaged her through his page or messaged her directly, but I can't find our messages, so I'm thinking I talked to her through his page. But anyway, I went to her as a woman, basically, letting her know, like, hey, I deal with this nigga now. You know what I'm saying? I know that y'all got kids together. You know, on some... One would probably say I'm on some green ass peon shit, but I'm on some, no, I need you to be aware of what the fuck going on because you catch me out in public or something, you come off my head with a bat or some shit. Now I'm caught off guard. You caught off guard, but you pissed off because you know that's your nigga and your nigga running around with me. Whatever. So I, I reached out to her woman to woman. Shirley, this is Barbara. Barbara, this is Shirley, whoever. So y'all know how bitter baby mamas get. They start doing all types of random slick shit. You start popping up at the house more often. Popping up at the job. Calling at odd hours. Sending weird messages through me. All right, cool. That was fine. So one particular week, y'all, I decided I was going to go back to Louisiana and visit my parents. Now, this was after my son had been born. He done came home from the NICU. I'm just trying to give y'all a time lapse of how fast things is moving. Because talking about this hoe is just not the... the it's not what I want to do, but I have to get it done in order to get to where I'm trying to go. All right, cool. So I decided I was going to take a few days, about a week, and go down there and visit my mom in Louisiana. My mom adores my son, Sebastian. Like, oh my God, like on her deathbed, it was Sebastian. Like, she wanted my baby. And when she seen my baby, you know, she went ahead and crossed over type thing. So everybody back home loves Sebastian, so we went down there. So one day, I'm down there. We having a little water gathering thing in the circle where my parents live. It was like my mom, my auntie, my big sister, her boyfriend, everybody. The family lived in the circle. So I'm standing outside of my phone ring run day, y'all. I swear to God, right hand to the man, Lord, strike me down if I'm lying. Hold on, that's my left hand. Strike me down if I'm lying. My phone ring. I pick up the phone and guess who it is? It's baby mama number one. So she basically getting on the phone, you know, she wasn't really like popping her shit in the beginning. It was more so like, like, what's going on? Like, why you reach out to me? Da da da. Shit, my question is, how'd you get my number? But hey, you want to have this conversation? So let's go ahead and have this conversation. So she asked me all the questions that she asked me and I go ahead and just nip it straight in the bud. I'm too blunt. I ain't got a lot of nobody. If you feel like you can whoop my ass, well, probably at the time and I was real little, yeah, she probably could have slung my ass all over the place. But, you know, I'm 1920. I, she got to be damn near 33 right now. But that's besides the point. So I go ahead and I lay it out to her. I was like, I met him at Sonic. He came over to my store. He transferred to a store. Me and him start hanging out. Me and him start bumping. Boom, bam, thank you, ma'am. And boom, I'm pregnant. So when I said that, y'all, like her whole demeanor just went through the roof. Like, God got retarded on the phone. Like, some crazy ass shit. Nah, bitch, you think you gonna come at me sideways? You out here with this slick ass shit? You could have came to me as a woman from your page. Just that, like, just some sideways shit. So I jump on my body as well. Bitch, not you motherfucking talking, but you over there begging your dad, your baby daddy every motherfucking day for $20. Popping up at his job for $5, $10. Popping up at his job for cheese sticks to feed your motherfucking kids. But then when we get on the internet, we see your motherfucking ass out popping that fat ass pussy on everybody you come across. Like, we literally was going back and forth. I don't remember everything verbatim but just know we was on that phone call and then it kind of ended with a all i was trying to do was just let you know what the fuck was going on so when your son be with your baby daddy and your baby daddy be with me i be with your son type shit now yes i probably could have said it a lot nicer or whatever but don't pop your shit at me and think i'm not gonna pop my shit back because i'm gonna do it every time all right cool so we finished that phone call i get on the phone with my baby daddy and i tell him like i just had a conversation with your baby mama i don't know what the fuck going on but i had to check the home and let her know what's up now y'all keep in mind i'm 1920 so i'm really like I'm really outside my body type shit. Y'all know how you be hyping yourself up? Like, you be psyched out. Like, yeah, bitch, I put that hoe on her plate. So think about me, 1920, doing all the other shit I was telling y'all about, my other baby daddies and shit that I was going through, and really thinking I done built this stamina up to pop my shit. Versus now, being almost 30, you get what I'm saying? Like, you you a little more confident. You you know what I'm saying? You can pop your shit because you can back your shit up type shit. You get it? 
No, ain't nobody ever had that young old comparison. Okay, whatever. So, anyways, I'm having a conversation with him. He blow off the handle. Fuck is you talking to my baby mama for? Fuck is you this and fuck is you that? And then that's when I brought up the mama. I said, but ain't that your future, babe? Like at that point, I'm not around you now, so you can't beat up on me. So I'ma just pop my shit and say what the fuck I gotta say. And then if I don't want to come back because I feel like you're gonna off me when I get back, I'ma just stay down here in my mama hell. <laughs> All right, stick around, y'all. Part five coming right now.